have decided to contest this election because I have seen now what is the scenario in the state with regard to governance. I have just retired from government service and whatever little experience I've gained from there, I want to put it in the political side to make this state a patch of beauty as they have already fought from the beginning. The issues that we have raised and that I have come across when I met all the people in my constituency especially are multiple. They are multiple. But the main issues, I have met the teachers, I have met the educationists, I have met the specialist doctors, I have met the doctors, I have met some of my people in the constituency who are farmers in their own areas, villages and of course the social sector, the social welfare department that I will not leave it aside. Most important, my constituency is an unpolished diamond. We have got the economy in my constituency, right from Yodo up to Kandailan. And we need to polish this and shine again like a diamond. That is what I want to do. Nearly 30 years I had worked. That means I have not earned anything. I have not saved anything. And plus, they're talking about COVID. You see, when COVID came, it came like a hurricane. I think you were, you, you, you were a, a, a part of that. You had experienced that. You were part of all the news items which you had published, which we had put forth. Now, when it came like a hurricane, how did it go? How did it disappear? It disappeared like a calm breeze. And why did it disappear like a calm breeze? Because all the COVID warriors, right from the political leadership up to the last level, they fought, including the Shnongs. They fought so well. And that point of time when before the, 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 before the end of Corona in the state, we had said, we have to learn to live with this disease. When again, news items came up that it's again reappearing. There was no panic in the state. And that is what we have done. We have put that confidence. We have asked the people to learn to live with this and to be prepared for any eventuality also, any type of disease. That is what we have done. Utilization of the COVID funds. When the COVID came, we didn't have anything. I think so many people, they had uh, approached us for so many things. Now we have done, we had less manpower, we had uh, employed, we had spent from the Directorate of Health Services, MI, and us expenditure, we had also placed before the table of the House, in the August House of the Meghalaya Legislative Assembly. Now our expenditure at that point of time was around 248 crores. Now that uh, the expenditure is 803 crores, then you have to ask the people who, who are the people involved in this 803 crores. If you talk about the border, now, we were given the state, how are we were given the state? Was it only Assam government had signed, okay, this is part of your state? It was passed by an act of parliament. And when it passed, the borders were very clear there. So I want to know, I want to enter here, I want to know also in detail what are these areas of differences, who has caused these areas of differences, whether it is from our side that we have caused these areas of differences or it's from the other side, that we have to relook into that. Little experience that I have gained, I want to make that this new government respects the local administration, respects the local officers, respects the executive business as laid down, executive rules as laid down in the past. We can improve on that, but we cannot just do away with them, all of them. One one thing, we have got so many people in the state who are good administrators, who are good businessmen, who are excellent educationists. I don't think that we need to you know, search or hunt from outside the state for them. We have got our own people here. We, I go to Jail Road, you've got a, 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 a number of educationists. I go to Oakland, I go to Jayao, I go to Mokhar, I go to Nongmali. All these places, I, I gain a lot of knowledge from them. Do we need to go outside? 
to develop this our own small state we don't need we need our local people to develop the state in a manner which is beautiful in front of the eyes of the rest of the country of the people of the rest of the country and another thing is we would like that this next government you will see this wave the udp wave now from today you will see it will be more when we entered they were telling that udp is a lost party you see now udp is a winning party and we will win and we will lead the government